Tarang! Good day, everyone. This is Dial Setro, the most handsome, yekebo, Africanicious, adrenaline pumping, and physical power husband. And as usual, I will have beside me my scintillating, pepperoni, sugarlicious, hot baby girl. Yeah, you're welcome today. It's nice being back on Setro's vlog after my delivery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, thanks so very much to everyone that has been reaching out to us. I really love you. I bless God for everyone that has been a blessing to us. Today, we're going to be discussing something that is so, so important to being alive. And it's about before you think of just stopping and quitting your life because of challenges, you have to listen to this. Before you think of ending your life because of the challenges you, are, you think you are passing through, hmm, your case might even be far, far better than what so many other persons have passed through. And they are smiling at life yes and that's why we just want to do a recap of this story that you knew before and we want to tell you the current stage the story is about mr giwa and the fantastic four that you already know on this channel for those that are not just subscribing but if you're just subscribing please you can watch the video on that mr giwa happened to have married for over five years or about five years and they had no issue with his lovely wife and to God be the glory, the wife conceived and gave birth to four children at home. Quad driplet. Quad driplet. Three girls and a boy. But you know what happened? As we we're still jubilating on the 1st of January 2021, on the 2nd, the wife passed on. And it was as if the whole world has crumbled. I, 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 can you just fathom how you, you, cope with training four children your beloved the beloved wife was gone and it's it was really really as if that was the end of the world but the fantastic thing about life is that mr giwa instead of killing himself drowning himself in sorrow self-pity and whatever grammar we want to use mr giwa has continued to surprise us because he gives himself this courage to move ahead, to be there for this quadruplex. And that is what we found as what, what it really takes to be a man that is looking on God to help him overcome challenges. So, on that January 2020, we're in this year, the Cetrus Foundation took up the children and we said we're going to be there for them till they are given out in marriage. And we reached out to wonderful people all over the world on this channel and everywhere to raise up fund for the training of these children. And they were even in, in intensive care units then. And could you believe that? Some money were raised for these children. And <laughs> we really, really want to bless God that the children are now doing great they they survived the intensive care unit and they're back home growing and just bubbling and it's wonderful you see their various stages at birth at three months just in the picture has been displayed we decided to set up a business for them so that they can use that business to take care of these four children while the their father continues with his nine to five job but let me tell you we almost got scammed you can imagine that the fan father of the Fantastic Four almost got scammed. Thank God that the Cetros Foundation was there at the right time because they were about being they were about to pay for a location that was not actually what the people that were promising them that location were planning for. They intend to collect money for a very good location and to just find any any out place to give to them. That is what we call fraud 419 in Nigeria. And thank God they escaped that. So right now, we are still in the process of getting a very good place for their business. All in this process, all the money that have been donated, they've be actually been donated into their father's account. Directly. They've actually been donated directly into the father of the Fantastic Four account, who is by name Mr. Giwa, and he's a very honest man, a man of integrity. The last baby of the quadruplex is having a medical challenge. And I tell you, they've spent a lot of money taking care of that. We are not coming here to solicit for money for that, but we just want you to be abreast with the information. The, the little girl had to be operated on because it has to the the challenge had to deal with somewhere around the brain 
of the baby or the head region of the baby they have to operate the head of this baby and as you can see in the video luckily enough she survived it is that not a miracle that's a great word and all in this process we've been speaking with the dad he's just been so calm you just we met him some days ago and I, I told my husband, I said, he's, Mr. Giwa is a good singer. Could you believe that yesterday, despite all this, Mr. Giwa is still grateful to God. He came all the way from the hospital. They had to take the last baby to the hospital for medical treatment. And the doctors in Nigeria, they are on strike in Lagos State, precisely. Orthopedic. Orthopedic. Bobby, if you are in Nigeria, you know a place called Bobby Orthopedic. The, cha this, the surprising thing is that Mr. Giwa had to take this baby to Bobby Orthopedic and when they got there, the doctors are on strike. Presently in Nigeria, doctors are on strike and they couldn't attend to him. Right from there, after dropping the baby, he came, he came right down to our foundation new, new place to come and assist us in sweeping and cleaning. And he was just singing and his voice, he has a very great voice. I just told my husband, I was appreciating God. I said, ah, Mr. Giva is really grateful despite all that has happened. And you won't even see it on his face. Do you know that some persons that have not gone through the level of challenges that Mr. Giva has gone through, by now they will say God doesn't exist. <laughs> because he lost the wife just a day after birth now one of the baby is having a medical condition that has to do with some part of the head region or the brain i, no, I so want to, and now the baby is now having a a, a leg uh, i think uh, bowing out of the leg is the medical people that will be able to understand that our medical practitioners in nigeria or wherever that if you can come to the aid of these children Remember, these children, they don't have a mother, and it's Mr. Giwa, their dad, that has just been there for them. This is called Riplet. If you are a medical doctor and you think you can be of help, we'll, it's highly appreciated. And also, I want to say, if you know anyone that can get us a very good location, because the money they've kept for the business of this Fantastic Four, we have to start their business because the children are already seven months right now. Before they start crutch, <laughs> if you know what education is talking about in Nigeria, ju just to put four children in school, talk up their feeding and everything. So that's why I want to set up a business for them so that it's not just like a story. And we've been looking for a location from them. It's like he's not, it's not been coming for it. Let me just say it that frank way. So, if you are in the best position to get us a location for them, they are going to pay. Yes, they are going to pay for it. Want to set up their business. If you know of anybody that can get them a very good location for their business setup, just contact us as in that's the stage we are in right now for the Fantastic Four uh, business. And their dad is really on it. Even Central Foundation, we are really on it because we know that these children, they are growing and they need help i've so, been going around trying to get them a place but the challenge we have is that the owners of the places that we have seen they've been saying they don't want businesses to be transacted on their premises so please if you are out there but on the other side we are appealing to medical doctors those in the medical field that can come to our aid because the hospitals are on strike now any support you can give medical support that you can give to the especially the last Joy. baby the last baby of the family please we want to be 100 percent sure that all of these babies are given opportunity to live and enjoy their life whatever you're going through do remember that there is light at the end of the tunnel we that yes seated here and we're smiling we're talking to you remember that last year we lost a very precious precious pre what is this a baby's precious victoria was actually very precious to us and it was like the whole world has crumbled people will still see me because i'm this kind of person i don't really go on go on with a moody face i just smile always but internally i had challenges it took the holy spirit to help me and the Lord said, ah, 
your baby is coming back you 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 have not reduced and it will be as if is this word a, a word or is it crazy is god real that's why to some god is foolishness but i want to tell you it's not about being religious this year just last month 13th of july i was right there in the labor world and the holy spirit was with me and right there god brought it through and gave us a bouncing baby boy a bouncing baby boy as in Meaning that whatever you are going through in life, never, never let hope die. Keep hope alive because whatever you are going through now is just what? It's just a test for your testimony. So keep at it. Keep doing the right thing and God will prove himself along the way. And this video is just to encourage those that are going through numerous challenges and you are feeling that you are all left alone by yourself, please kindly note that you are not left alone. If you need word of encouragement from people that have passed through the same situation with you, our ends are open. We can share with you some of those periods, our downtime, the period that we had taken our bait and we are just lost in thought that how could this happen to us. But instead of allowing it to kill us or to make us think of committing suicide, we decided to embark on what? Building a foundation that we make sure such thing never happens to other people's children. And look at it. Before we had our baby, we adopted the Fantastic Four. And here we are with our home baby. So no matter the challenges, please, Prove to the challenges that you are not going to give up now. Yeah, and you are never going to give up now. And just lend the helping hand to the next person to you because it relieves you of whatever pain you're going through. You so know, whenever I see Mr. Giva, what I see is that someone that just loves God, despite the numerous challenges, because how do you explain it? Just lost the wife. Now, one of the baby is, you know, but in all this, he kept on praising God and always respectful despite whatever this is always very very good so those are the characters that God might be looking out for you so that you will pass through your trying moment successfully and that's it so that's it today it's really a one uh, it's really a video that we just thought uh, we just have to come up although i'm still babysitting i might not be here so fully but i will show you a video of mr giwa in our foundation, foundation well, and, after the cleaning yes. he was still just himself yes, and yes. very happy that gives room for you know people to still want to be around him because when you are too moody, moody. and you are too down you will start misbehaving in the face of challenges so mr giver if you are seeing this video we are so proud of you and we know that everything good. is going to happen to you with good testimonies Amen. and our babies we are going to hand them over Yes, at the right time. In marriage, at the right time. Yeah, yeah good day, everyone. It's a pleasure to have you around. And just right, happening right here at our Second Foundation Hall. We're doing our cleaning, getting ready to get started. And we're so happy, so privileged to have Mr. Giwa, the dad of the fantastic one here with us today. It's a pleasure. So, sir, you're welcome. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's been so exciting being around. My name is Giwa Samuel. I am currently uh, being at the Cetus Foundation Hall. It's been super amazing being here. In fact, everything is going on perfectly well. I can see the youth are already staring up to, to, to break eye. They're already preparing to start flying, and shortly we'll be seeing that, that happening. Amen. And also, I want to also join in thanking every of our sponsors and supporters for being there for their own relatives and support. We are so grateful. Thank you. God bless you. And also, especially to the Sexuals Foundation for their help of love. They've been there through the scene and thick. They've been there solidly behind us. The Fantastic Four, we are currently looking for accommodation with the Sexuals Foundation have been beheading, trying to get a very befitting location for the children for the Just Fantastic like Four. Just like what we have here, and we are so grateful for that. And shortly, in no distant time, the fantastic four will be flying, and we can't wait to see you all being on our side and also 
patronizing the fantastic four and also the same patronage we're talking about to start from the Cetros Foundation. Thank you all. God bless you. I'm super excited to be here and I'm grateful. Yes, all of us, all the good minded people, the Lord Himself will keep us. So, and those, for those of us that have been helping out with our African youth, we yeah. want to say a very big thank you. These youths, they can't just wait to start their training in the Cetros Foundation training hub that we'll be showing. If you've not seen it, please try to see it. We'll be starting in earnest by next month, September, and we have a whole lot of lists of things that you could see the fashion, maybe the fashion uh, department will be showing by the side, at least it's getting some headway because we are fashion designers and we had some of those. So we've loaded the place with fashion equipment and yes. the likes. But for this hair styling Nothing. and barbin salon, you can see that the, <laughs> the is there. department is still... <laughs> mm? You can see the photography and videography department as well that nothing is there but it's, we have some some of the equipment already for that department but most of them are still alienated and you see the catering department hmm, mm. hmm, it's clear nothing is there then which other departments somebody came yesterday i was asking of a uh, of those producing the bags i said yes by the time they come they are going to join the fashion department yeah. because you stitch your bag, you cut and all the like. So please just see the list of all that is needed. You can be the good Samaritan that will be used. Just a dollar can save a life. Just a smile can save a life. Just sharing that uh, GoFundMe page can save a life. Yeah. Just sharing this video can save a life. You don't know the next life of the African you that wants to commit suicide or that wants to turn into a wayward life that you will save by just sharing or just saying a good word or just giving a dollar or whatever you want to give so we really appreciate you we are really grateful and from all of us from the Cetros foundation i want to say thank you and my baby saying thank you victor Cetro is saying gang 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 can you see my babe she's <laughs> looking a, like somebody that I just giving bread a, i'm taking good care of her she's looking peptonganish he's saying peptonganish pepto so he's saying, gen, gen, gen. you see him now be crying. So we just want to start working bit by bit and all the like. So thank you so very much. I was much. busy breastfeeding the boy. Uh, sorry, chest feeding. Thank you so very much. Catch you. Love you. Bye bye. You may like to watch this video of this. I can smell the smoke from the bacon. Yum, yum, yum. Let's go. See the sun shining from the windows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I know that today will be a good day. Okay, I know that today'll be a good day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feel good, feel great. Can't complain. Look out my window, see birds and planes. Sun's out, some clouds. It might rain. Siblings on my nerves, on my nerves again. Summertime go for a swim. Winter time go grab a sled. Spring I might need an umbrella. Fall back in school with my friends. Attitude change like the weather. My mom tell me it never ends. Like clocks, we evolve in a circle. Every 12 months, we do it again. Wake up, get up, stretch my legs. Eat some breakfast, milk and eggs. Brush my teeth up, wash my face. Throw my clothes on, start my 